But internationally, the West African country of Liberia is making a call to the Southern African government and corporates and individuals for assistance in their efforts to deal with and contain the Ebola outbreak in parts of West Africa. To discuss this further, we're joined now by the ambassador of Liberia to South Africa, Her Excellency Louise Brutus. A very good morning to you under very trying circumstances. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me here this morning. Ambassador, have we reached crisis point? In my country, we have reached cataclysmic proportions regarding the spread and the intensity of this deadly virus. We are faced with a situation that we are unprepared for. So the situation in my country, Liberia, is very dire. And not only my country, but if I could speak also for the entire sub-region of Guinea and Sierra Leone. And now, of course, you've heard that it's gone into Nigeria. So this is actually an issue, not only regionally, it has extended into a continental issue. And as such, it is now an issue of international concern. And as such, you've uh, appealed for help across borders. How can we here in South Africa help you? Well, of course, this is part of my mandate. My president, um, Madam Ellen Johnson Salif, had made a clarion call for assistance throughout the world because the situation in Liberia right now, we are having about 300 plus deaths total. Now, recently we had an escalation of 25 deaths. The corpses that in, are on the road, they are lying down. We do not have the basic facilities, though equipment, with protective gears to really go out and collect these corpses that are being lying down in the streets. So for us, we are requesting, you know, our friends, our the corporate, the international com com community, which has already, you know, responded to some of our requests. But one of the most basic things that we are requesting now is the mobile mutuary. Because with that mobile mutuary, it will actually facilitate the collection of the dead bodies, you know, that you find lying around, you know, the streets, the communities. Because, of course, it's not because um, the people want to have these bodies lying down, but because of the, of the, the, the reasons, you know, the, 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 the spread of this virus because it's by touching, it's by saliva, it's by any other contact with a contaminated or infected victim. Mm. Let's get some context now and, and take a look at uh, the, the infrastructure, the health infrastructure in your country. A question here about the civil war and how it's impacted or compromised the health system in Liberia and its ability or, or lack thereof to deal with Ebola. Just to speak to us around that. Well, uh, exactly. I thank you very much for the question because I want to put my country, Liberia, into context vis-a-vis -vis the spread of this outbreak. We have had 20 years of brutal civil war. We have just emerged out of this civil crisis. And within this civil crisis, we destroyed everything. The basic health service delivery has been compromised. Health education, just name it. So we do not have the capacity at this time to respond adequately and effectively for such an outbreak with deadly proportions, we need assistance. We need assistance and to let you know, as in my capacity as ambassador here, I have been speaking to friends of Liberia, which most of them have indicated their readiness, you know, to give us assistance. One of such persons is the Honorable um, Mr. Tokyo Sequale of his foundation and also the Nelson Mandela Foundation and also the government and people of this republic and foreigners residing in this republic. They have been calling us and they have been meeting with us and seeing what or whatever assistance they could render the republic at this time. And of course, in the larger community, we have received assistance from the United States of America, from China, from the EU and all of the friends together. But the important issue concerning Ebola. The issue of Ebola is not about fright. It's not about fear. It's not about panic. It is a communication issue. People must be able to know what is a Ebola. How it is an issue, it. yes, and how it is contracted to be able to facilitate its prevention.
And it's also a question, it's also an issue of leadership. It is a leadership issue mm -hmm. because if you look back in my, with my country, my president has taken all the necessary measures to contain the Ebola um, and crisis. But of course, we cannot ourselves, you know, independently do it. But to the extent that we had declared a state of emergency, we have quarantined the people. Mm -hmm. We have told non-essential staff members of government to stay home. We, have, we are continuing to spread the information as to prevention, what methods should be used. But as you and I know, Ebola is not just creeping its head. Ebola has been around since 1976. True. It was in the DRC. And if you read in history, there was even a case here in South Africa where a, a medical doctor came out of Gabon and came here and contracted, you know, and brought the virus and with his nurse, but the nurse died. And how did that doctor survive? So we have to go out and tell the stories of the survivors. How did they cope? through this, you know, deadly virus. So it is also a scientific issue. It is a research issue because it is a pandemic that will not stay. It's going to make its deadly cause, but it's going to pass away. But we must go to the root cause. Yes. Your Excellency, we're running out of time. I have two yeah. burning questions, so I'm yes, going to try please. and squeeze them in yes. in a short amount of time as possible. Yeah. That experimental drug from the U.S., mm -hmm. uh, is it welcome in Liberia? Have you welcomed it? Of course we have welcomed it. We will welcome anything you know that we could do experimentally that we believe could work in the long term. We do not have any cure. Are we going to sit down supinely and fold our hands and say, this drug has not been tested, so it shouldn't be tried? But most importantly, the cardinal issue in taking this drug is to let the victims know that this is an experimental drug and have the consent of the victims. So this is what we have done in Liberia. The two medical doctors that, that will be treated with this CMAP drug from the United States, the Victims have given their consent. So we will go ahead, you know, testing these things until we find the cure for the Ebola crisis. But the main issue is to continue it. It's to continue it for possible prevention. So we want to, you know, make this clarion call to the people of this republic. We want to thank the print and the electronic media because they continue to raise the issue and bring it to the consciousness of the populace of this republic that Ebola is not something that was cultivated in anything. It's a virus as the scarlet virus. These are things that have happened time in history, memoriam yes. since antebellum. And you've mentioned that we've beat it before. Exactly. We can do it we again. We can do it. And Your Liberia, Excellency, we are a yes. bunch of resilient people. Yes. We will overcome. Yes. Because we have a sterling leadership in our president, Madam Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. Your mandate today, I know, is very clear calling for help, calling for the world to unite. Let's fight it as best as we can collectively. It's not only the neighborly thing for us to do yeah. in South Africa. It's also in all of our best interest in the, in the greater scheme of things. How do ordinary citizens, perhaps corporate South Africa that's watching at the moment, how do they come alongside you and help perhaps with the mobile mortuaries, perhaps with the finances that are needed? Tell us about logistics and contact details, please. So tell us, let me first bring the contact detail and let give the situate the, the Embassy of the Republic of Liberia, we are situated at 1157 Francis Bard Street, Hatfield, Pretoria. And the contact number, I'll just give you my mobile number, is 073-818-5780. Come to us, give us, lend us the assistance. We need all of the protective gears, the disinfectants, you know, the gloves, the, 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 the shoes, the component, everything all of these preventive gears that will help, especially the health providers, to stop them from being, you know, from contracting this deadly virus. And most importantly, and I continue to repeat myself, this mobile mutuary, you know, that it is absolutely and urgently needed to be able to collect the corpses that are lying down in the streets of the Republic. Thank you very much. And I think what you said is very pertinent. Instead of being overcome by fear, let us rather be informed. Just to repeat the contact details, 1157 Francis Bard, Bard Street, Street in Hatfield, Pretoria. That That's the physical address. Yes. The number 073 818 
5780. That is correct. All right. Thank you yes, so sir. very much. So medical supplies are needed, gloves, um, disinfectants, etc. If you do have uh, vehicles that you can donate, mm -hmm. even finances, please, as I said, it's not only the neighborly thing to do. It's in all of our best interests. And instead of being afraid, let's get ourselves clued up on how to contain and prevent this, uh, the spread of this virus. It's been very informative. Thank you so much for gracing us with it your presence. It is indeed my pleasure. And I again want to thank the print and electronic media for the robust dissemination of the information and the statistic concerning the spread of the Ebola virus in West Africa. It's our duty and it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. There you have her, the Excellency Ambassador of Liberia, joining us live here on Morning Live, uh, Louise Brutus. Our thanks again to her. Quick ad break as you just uh, digest all that information. Uh, when we come back, Morning Live can